Hi, babies. This here's Grammy, and I just come on here to introduce my grandson, Show. And also, I wanted to clear up a few things. You know, my grandson, Gwen, sometimes he gets a little confused. Actually, to be nice about it, he's an idiot. All right, uh, I wasn't on a secret mission to, to NASA, going to Mars or anything like that. I was, I was in, uh, I was in Florida. Yeah, that's what it was. I was in Florida, and I was helping that, uh, uh, that Disney guy. Yeah, we was building the Disney rides for that Mickey Mouse. So, uh, yeah, babies, that's all it was. It's just a misunderstanding. Okay, now here's my grandson, Glenn. Ah, oh, Grammy. Wow, that's some good explanation there. I'm sorry. I could have swore I heard you say NASA. But yeah, yeah, yeah. NASA in Florida, that sounds a lot alike. Okay, now, here comes the show. Uh, what are we going to do on the show? I got to do something. Oh, uh, shoot. Um... I kind of get at a loss sometimes. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to catch you up on my projects. Why not? This is not in the frame. Now it is. This is my uh, Thunderbird. I don't know, I'm not sure what class it's in. It's it's a funny car chassis, but it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. I just don't, I'm just not going to say. I'm not going to say. Uh, it's, look at that paint job, though. Woo! That's what I did to it this this uh, week. Actually, I painted the body, and I got all the interior panels made up to go in it, but the paint ain't dry enough on the body to mess with it right now, so I gotta leave it alone, or I will mess it up. But boy, that is a nice paint job, and I don't want to mess it up. I want to show you something that just cheeses me off, though. I'm telling you what. This is, I'm upset. I am totally upset. You see these valve covers? I grabbed them and I used them because, wow, those are some pretty good ones. The fin detail is really crisp. And I saw I grabbed my drill, argh, drilled them all out. Yeah, buddy, put me a distributor on there, run some plug wires, kick back, look at it, and said, something's off. Something's off. Something's not right. See that first spark plug wire? Okay, this front piece here this this front cover is full of chains and gears runs around here all right there is no way you're going to get you know way you're going to get that spark plug down to the chains this this one is number one two and well whatever they are but the last this first one should have been back here these valve covers are for crap I thought they was cool, but they ain't cool. You see that? that They're not in the right place. So now I'm all upset because I have to careful take the valve covers off and save the spark plugs and wires to put on a different set and hope they'll fit. Ugh. It's always two steps forward and then fall down. You know, that old saying. Okay, but I am really proud of the paint job on this thing pretty nice it's pretty nice we run it around one more time why not I can because you know it's my show I can do anything I want to do man I love the paint on oh I should tell you what kind of paint it is <laughs> believe it or not this is Rust-Oleum 2x uh, apple red yeah, that's some good paint, man. I tell you what, though, you don't want to wait till the next day to put a second coat on. It'll buckle. But if you wait like 20 to 30 minutes between coats, and I, this is three coats right here, and it come out really nice. Okay, well, that's this guy. Now, let me bring out another job. Oh, I gotta tell you, there ain't a lot for me to do here today. I don't have any unboxings, and I don't have any stash ads. I will have on my next show, because this is the first. I just made, I got my uh, Social Security check today, or deposit in the bank today, 
and I made my spotlight order. So, but it won't be here till like Wednesday, Thursday. So I'll show you on my next show what I got and probably have something to unbox there. Now, what is that? That is a 69 Galaxy, and it's sitting on the uh, Troublemaker chassis. Wait till it comes around, and I will, I will show you. Oh, a little bit more. All right. You see, ta-da, Troublemaker chassis. I had to shorten the front end up, bring the wheels back a little bit, and nothing else, though. rest of it's a stock old chassis. And I made the body mounts for this, so it's sort of, it's sort of sitting where it's supposed to sit. Not exactly perfect, but, uh, yeah. Oh, the wheels? Let me get it up here. That's the stock GT rims. That's my wrist. And this is the front wheel, which I made into, the back ones, I made them into super deep ones to, handle those big monstrous slicks so oh it's got i didn't get to the parts store today ah <laughs> front wheel fell off it's just mocked up i was gonna go up and get the paint for it i'm gonna get duplicolor seafoam green whenever i think of one of these old galaxies i picture it as being that light that light seafoam green metallic yeah i want this to look stock I want it to look just like a stock galaxy with nut but until you look at the stance hey I'm telling this until you look at the stance and the wheels on it you think oh that's just another old galaxy over there perfect sleeper look at the stance on this thing man if I can get it around there yeah I like that pretty good let me raise this down See that? There's, there's your stance. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. I am happy with the way it is progressing. Yeah, buddy. Now. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be nice. It's really going to be nice. Seafoam green, I think. It'll look like your mom's galaxy. Or perhaps Uncle Ernie's galaxy. You don't know. And I, I want it. To, I want it to look uh, until you look close. You know, you know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm saying, then don't listen to me because I don't know what I'm saying half the time. This is Forgotten Friday. This is Paul from Styrene Relic. This is his idea for Friday, and I do my show. Friday night, and you guys get it Saturday morning because it takes like six hours to upload, you know, a 20 minute video. And uh, yeah, it does. Or close to it anytime. I go to bed, I go to sleep, and I wake up and it's up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is uh, Forgotten Friday. This is my flat top 62 vet, and I did just a little bit to it. I have painted it. I finished off the bodywork, and I painted it silver. I love this color, and I'm going to tell you the truth. Hang on just a second till it gets around here. I'm going to tell you the truth. I was, I was. That's a, that's not a skull. I was going to use this for a base coat, and then blow some color over it when I figured out what color, but. That dang it, boy! It looks good. This color, um, it looks like shiny, smooth metal. I really, really like this paint. And yeah, I changed the front wheels too. I put these spoke wheels, these twelve spokes. I guess they're twelve spoke wheels. Also I painted inside the black ones, just on a lark, just for the heck of it. But I like these wheels better than the ones I had on it. The ones I had was kind of eh. Okay, but not cool. But don't you guys think that the silver really sets off the body lines? Look at it right there, man. You can see the those things on the hood and the way it comes off the headlights back. That's just cool. I got some cool looking decals for it too. And I got the velocity stacks. I just haven't done it yet. Little little bit 
each week and then it'll be done. But I don't have a whole lot. Uh, let me see. A little bit interior work. The uh, velocity stacks. And some decals. Yeah, and then it's done. Yeah, and then it'll go in with the rest of my uh, flat tops. And speaking of those, that's what I got to show you today. After I show you this one more thing. Uh, when that, that, on that, that, after uh, Forgotten Friday has been forgotten and it's done, this will be the next Forgotten Friday project. This is a... I don't know what year it is. I think it's a 62. The back end will come around here in a minute. It's got the birthday on the license plate. It is a... Bum, 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 62. Yeah, see, I was right. This is a street gasser. It's got those big old slicks on the back have treads. It's got a full interior. <laughs> the motor's not in it. It's just sitting there waiting to be in it. Sitting there waiting. I got to find the right headers for it. This one, too. This one, too. I painted it. I was going to put a different color on it, but once I painted it silver, I just like the way it looks, so it's staying silver. Those Studi Baker. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this is an old Johan kit from probably 62. And as you can see, it was blue and real thick, brittle plastic. I had a heck of a time cutting this off. The roof, it was a convertible and it had the wraparound windshield, but no glass. The glass was broken. And I tried to make a new glass out of plastic. It wasn't happening. So I went to a, uh, what is it? 67 Mercury Comet. And I cut the whole roof off of it all the way around. Some of the sides here and uh, back and all the way around so I could use the roof and windshield. And grafted it on here. See, it's, it's, it's molded on. It looks natural. It looks like it came there, but it didn't come there. No way, it don't look anything like the one that came there. But, I got it on there, and it fits real good, and the windshield, I got the glass, front and back glass for it, no problem. And so, when I get done with that flat top vet, this will be the next Forgotten Friday's Forgotten build. Yeah. Okay? And, off with it. Okay, now... Okay, I'm at 12 minutes. I think I'm doing pretty good. I wish I had a, a stash ad or an unboxing for you, but no. Okay, this is flat top day. I'm going to show these because I want to. Now, y'all's probably seen this recently, but there's some new subscribers that haven't. <clears throat> this is the 67 Mercury Cyclone that I cut the roof off of to go on that <laughs> that uh, or, uh, Studebaker over there that I just showed you. This is where that roof came from. Oh, that's something I'd like to tell you while you're, while you're gazing at this. You know, a lot of times I'll use two kits to make one car. That don't mean I got two leftover kits, you know, that are no good. Those parts can go on a lot of other things, you know. Uh, it's not wasteful. And every part gets used eventually. A lot of my cars have parts from six or seven different kits. And all those kits are spaced out between. All, all the parts I got eventually get used on one thing or the other. Now, back to this little puppy. It has twin inline motors, but I set the blowers off to one side on either one. So I could run this... Uh, blower drive back to the second one because you try to get a I'm going to take the body off you try to get a belt in between those motors blower belt ain't going to happen so instead I made this chain drive for the front oh, for the front here a chain drive that drives both blowers with chains instead of belts the, the motors are in line so you see they've got a uh I put a bell housing on there 
and a torque converter. So the motors can work a little sloshy between the two with the torque converter. In case one of them hiccups, it won't throw the other back out. Little short guy. See, I still need the seat and steering and all that stuff. I got it. I just hadn't done it yet. The moon tank. Anyway. This is the ground pounder. Yep. 67 Mercury cycle. Oh, and it's got an altered wheelbase, too. The back wheels moved way up. There was that altered wheelbase funny car kit. Okay. Next. Another flat top. Okay, why not? If I could pick it up without destroying it. This is Cobra flat top. It has a... It has that big SOHC motor in it. And... Yep. Oh, it's the motor out of that 33 Willys, Ohio George Montgomery. And it comes in a bunch of different in, other incarnations. Let me see what the, the chassis on this one isn't done either. But you can see what it is there. And putting the body back on. And there it is. I didn't want to close up the grill in the front. Probably would have been better to close it up, make it more aerodynamic. But it would also not make it look cool. And for me, I'd rather it looked cool, you know. Uh, sometimes it's better to make it more industrial or uh, mechanic, mechanical wise sometimes but for me I like them to be pretty and sometimes that don't always hey who cut the cheese man somebody just cut the cheese this, this, this was a full piece of cheese just a minute ago and somebody has cut it in half and taking it. That's my cheese, puppies. If I want you guys to have a treat, I'll give it to you. Don't be taking mine. Jeez. Anyway, sorry about that. I got distracted. This is another flat top vet. Let me show you. Might as well, might as well show you the embarrassing not done chassis. Embarrassingly not done. Huh? Huh? That's pretty cool. Actually, it's more done than I thought it was. Okay, this one has a big block Chevy in it. And I like the way the headers come out through down there. Very cool. Very cool. And I give him a couple loops around while I say I want to thank everybody who subscribes to this show. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are totally awesome. And I, I just thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Also, I would like if you guys would uh, give me a like on there. Just hit eh, eh, hit the like button. Just hit it once. Eh. If you hit it twice, it'll it'll come off. It'll go on, off, on, off. So just eh, hit it one time. And uh, yeah, and share. You can share it with your buddies. You know, I'm not to be greedy, you know, stingy or anything, man. This is free. Ain't gonna cost you nothing. Hit the like bell when you subscribe. Hit that like bell and hit then hit the black one so you get all the notifications. And uh, share, comment. Oh yeah, comment. Leave me a comment if you got the time. You know, don't don't put yourself out. You know, you busy people. But if you want to, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment because that'd be cool. I'd like that. I read them all. It takes me a long time to answer them all, but I do answer all of them, I promise you. All right, well, I'm going to go because this thing's making me dizzy sitting here spinning. And I will see y'all later. Bye.